Hey, hey, it's John Hope Bryant, and I'm surrounded by hope. Uh, and I'm wearing an intentionally provocative T-shirt because I want to send a message to you that's, well, provocative. <laughs> so folks say they hate rich people. Let's get some sort of uh, housekeeping out of the way. People say they hate rich people. No, you don't. You hate rich people until you become rich. Let me rephrase that. You hate rich people until you become rich. So it's not rich people you hate, right? Uh, it's the game system. It's folks who are pimping the system, the people who you think got there illegally, people who are taking advantage of folks, a system that's unfair, an unlevel playing field. Everybody who's got sanity wants some level of aspiration and success. You want to sit in this big chair, your own big chair, your own creation. You want to write your own tickets. You want to pursue your own dreams. America, America is built on this promise. Um, and you want to be able to take care of yourself and your family and endow those uh, who are less fortunate with opportunity. This is as natural as, the, as wanting to vote or wanting to take care of your children or um, you know, personal physical freedom. This is economic freedom. It's aspirational freedom. It's doing as you like. You know, we, you know, uh, even if you want to distribute, distribute money like a socialist, Shimon Paris told me this, God rest his soul, when I was in Jordan. Even if you want to distribute money like a socialist, you got to first collect it like a capitalist, right? So, well, I'll do a whole other video explaining as I run up to my <clears throat> book launch in October, the Up From Nothing book <clears throat> that you can pre-order now, by the way, it comes out in October. But um, I explained there the difference between socialism, communism, and capitalism, amongst other things. So I won't bother you with that today. I'm going to hit you right between the eyes today on a wealthy mindset and what keeps you from it. So number one, uh, we don't hate rich people, okay? And this is not about being a billionaire in money. It's a billionaire mindset. And what separates the folks who, who accumulate billions or aspirational success uh, in whatever their endeavor is from everybody else? So I hit you with three limiting factors. And this is a special note to my African-American brothers and sisters. This is for everybody. But if you're poor white in the, uh, in the Appalachians or in, a, in rural America, this applies to you. If you are uh, uh, Native American Indian um, and, and you were screwed over, uh, it applies to you. If you're African American and you were screwed over, it applies to you. Um, it really applies to my African American brothers and sisters because we're so because we're from Africa, we're so emotional and we're we're feelers and and we get wrapped up in our feelings and. This, gets, this works against us. So this is a message for everybody who aspires. It's, it, it will work for everybody in the world. These three things apply. But it's a particular note to those who are subject to a 400-year-old oopsie, a 400-year-old um, lack of healing, lack of an apology, lack of fairness, uh, this 400-year-old reckoning on social justice, which are African Americans. We labor under these three problems. Uh, now, here they are. All of us. This applies to everybody, but here we go. Number one, we're angry. Um, anger is not a business plan. Frustration is not a strategy. Nobody cares if you're angry, okay? But people can feel your anger. And folks who, who do business and invest in you don't want to invest in an angry person. This is just real talk. Like, you, you have a reason to be angry. You, your anger is legitimate. I join you in your frustration, but it doesn't spend is not productive. And anger, to quote Dr. King, and hate, which is it, the anger's first cousin, destroys the container it sits within. So I need you to, I need you to heal. I need you to put that aside. I need you to find a, the path to love. Replace anger, uh, anger and, and hurt and, and, and hate with love. Because love is the only renewable and renewing uh, energy in the world. And, and love actually attracts investment and attracts relationship capital and attracts people who want to do business with you. Whereas hate repels them. So number one uh, problem that we face, as, a, as a, by the way, as a legitimate response to our pain and those pain visited upon us by others, we react, anger causes you to react, well, this goes to the second point, which is we're emotional. So number one, we dwell in our anger about how unfair this system is versus leveling the playing field on an unfair system. You hear me? I'll repeat it. We dwell in the anger of how unfair the system is versus finding strategies and ways to level the playing field on an unfair system. Number two, we get emotional about our anger, okay? 
And when you're angry, listen to me now, please. Write this down. When you're anger, when you're angry, uh, and start and start a dialogue in the comments and, and bring your friends into this. Share this on your page. And start a conversation. Start talk about this at your at your dinner table. Talk about this amongst your friends. Let's have a conversation about this. Uh, let me know what you think about this, right? When you're angry and when you're emotional, you don't respond to challenges, you react to them. Are you listening to me? You don't respond, you don't react, you don't start, you don't respond to challenges, which is legitimate, you react to them. So it's not ready fire, ready, aim, fire. It's ready, fire, aim. Ready, fire, aim. It's reacting to your problems versus responding to it. It's forgetting that life is 10% what life does to you and 90% how you respond to it. The question is, what's your response going to be? Okay. Number three. So anger, okay, which is the cousin to hate. Replace that with love emotions and you should never make a decision about business or anything important emotionally it'll be the wrong decision replace that with reason replace emotion with passion and reason right uh, and then the third thing the third thing which is really devastating is a surviving mentality a survivor's mentality I talked a little bit about that in my last book uh, the memo and I'll talk a lot more about it in this upcoming book up from nothing a survivor's mentality right um, it, there are survivors, there are thrivers, and as I say in my new book, there are winners, okay? Uh, and I'll be giving, up, giving away a bunch of my books as we get close to that because I want everybody to have it. Um, and I'll be giving away a lot of content, so just know that coming up. I want, I want everybody who, if you can afford it, buy it. If you can't afford it, we'll find a way to get the essence of the book to you at no cost to you, all right? So uh, a survivor's mentality is just that. And when you have been dealing with unfairness and injustice and police brutality and racism and discrimination and bias, or maybe you're, maybe you're poor white and you've been dealing with a country that's forgotten about you for 70 years after the Industrial Revolution, or maybe you're middle class, black, middle class white or middle class black or whatever, and you think that the upper, the upper class, the 1% is forgotten about you, it doesn't really matter where you are in this society, right? If you, if you don't feel seen, if you feel unseen, all right? then you're going to get angry, okay? <laughs> you may start hating, right? This And this hurts you, doesn't hurt anybody else. Then you're gonna get emotional, right? And then you're gonna start making bad decisions, right? And then, you're, and then uh, you probably have too much month at the end of your money because you have not been focused on your grind, you've not been focusing on achieving a level playing field because you're so focused on, focused on battling. We become experts at what we are against and what, what we're for when the world actually rewards you based on what and you, on you knowing what you're for. That's called a skill. So you cannot have an entire race of people an expert at what they are against. You gotta be an expert at civil rights and civil rights. Civil rights in the, in the streets, about, about, civil, about social justice and civil liberties and race and the color line. And then civil rights in the suites about class and poverty. It's about hope and operationalizing that hope in your life. Um, uh, and so, a surviving mentality doesn't spend. A surviving mentality is too much month at the end of your money. It's ready, fire, aim. It's uh, it's angry for a living. It's just it's just just enough to get by. It's it's seeing the glasses half empty versus half full. It's um, it's a 500 credit score. It's um, you know uh, it's living from paycheck to paycheck. It's check cashes, payday loan lenders, rental loan stores, title lenders, and liquor stores in your neighborhood, and not saying anything about it. It's, 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 it's arguing with your mate every day. It's, it's, it's letting your kids, you know, sort of uh, uh, raise themselves, it's calling, calling our kids, you know, saying I'm a baby daddy versus I'm a father. I'm a baby mama versus I'm a mother. Like, it's shortcutting. It's, it's low aim. It's, it's, it's it, and, and, for, and, and Benjamin Mays, which was Dr. King's mentor in the civil rights movement, uh, I'm sorry, well, in life, said the greatest sin was not failure, it's low aim. And by the way, we're better than this. Black folks were better than this. Americans were better than this. Whoever you are, we're better than this. We are, we are, all of us, we are God's children. Wherever you're watching this in the world, know that God has a special calling for you. Know that, that he means greatness for you. I want you to have a billionaire a boys club or girls club state of mind. I want you to basically know that you can do anything you want to do in this world. Don't limit yourself by anything, any day, any moment, for any reason. Take the words can't and impossible out of your dictionary because whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't, you're absolutely right. You hear me? 
I'm going to say it again. Whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't, you're absolutely right. And then everything follows that. Energy follows attitude. And if you're poor here, it's gonna, you're going to be poor here, and you're going to be poor here. If I give a homeless guy a million bucks, he'll be broke in six months because nothing changed here, nothing changed here, nothing's going to change here. You've got to change your state of mind. You've got to believe that you can. So go to Operation Hope. Um, I'm in 20, we're in 25 states now. Uh, and uh, we just went into Rhode Island, helping our governor, uh, uh, Gina Raimondo, there to, to, with her uh, uh, Rhode Island Back to Work initiative. I'm very proud of that association. Uh, we're in 25 states, 156 locations for Operation Open Side. I want you to, um, you know, I'm so vain. I'm sitting here looking, looking like, hey, you know, I've got a flat stomach. What's, what's this bulge here? <laughs> just a little light moment. Uh, and yes, that is, that is the that is the T-shirt. It's not my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys are laughing. Take life seriously. Don't take yourself too seriously. Um, I want you to take yourself. I want to take yourself to Operation Hope and take your life seriously. I want you to. I want you to to, to not criticize yourself, not get down on yourself, not spend your time hating on somebody else because hurt people hurt people. I want you to love your enemy not because they deserve it, but because you deserve it. Because that's how you roll. You roll because you're full of love. Because hate doesn't work. I can't guarantee you that being positive will make you a success, but I can get, absolutely guarantee you that being a, being negative will make you a failure. Hello, drop the mic. Go to Operation Hope, 888-388-HOPE. Or go to, that's 888-388-HOPE. People tell me to slow down all the time, John. Or go to OperationHope.org or, or download our Hope in Hand app and go it, and use it on your, your phone. Or go to one of our, you know, access one of our locations across the country. Our services are sponsored, so they're free to you. Um, and I'm going to get more sponsors and more partners so we can give you more empowerment. Uh, raise your credit score, make you a homeowner, make you a small business owner, make you an entrepreneur. Those things, those two things are different, by the way. Entrepreneur, small business owner, I'll get into that at another time. Uh, and, 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 or just, just become the CEO of you, right? Go work for somebody else, but, but have your own ownership state of mind. Just start with being positive. Just start with being full of love and operating from that place in that space because your body is 70% plus water. And if you're negative and angry and hot and steaming all the time, you're cooking your organs and you're prematurely aging. Okay. I, I love you. I'm out. And, and you're going to, and this is going to be real in your, in your life. Not because you're fat, because it'll be, you're going to have inflammation. This, this is not going to be like a, a bulge in a t-shirt. It's going to be real. You're going to start inflaming because inflammation, uh, it comes from, from toxicity. And when you're filling yourself with all these negative energies, you're filling yourself with toxicity. And, and most disease, 75% of all disease lives on, on inflammation. So it, in every way, negative energy is bad for you. So just exp expunge it from your life and expunge negative people from your life. And I've talked too long now. I'm out. John Hope Bryant. Hope you've, hope you've liked this. Peace and light. I'm out.